So moving on, let, let's take a look at uh, uh, the the browser market and specifically uh, some of the uh, web real-time communications uh, capabilities built into that. We haven't really looked at browser usage very often, <coughs> excuse me, in the uh, mover report in the last couple of times around. So I thought it would be good to just level set everyone. So browsers, uh, you know, Chrome is by far the most popular across all device types. Um, so we're including desktops uh, in this figure. So they have 52.9% of the market during 2018 first quarter. Apple Safari holds about 17.9% of that, and Firefox follows with 7.6. The rest is kind of spread out amongst uh, Internet Explorer, kind of an old version. Interestingly, the the Microsoft's Internet Explorer at 5.6 has actually got larger market share than their more modern, their 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 current uh, browser, the the Edge browser. These other browsers uh, listed here are uh, mobile browsers or uh, web applications that have browsers built into them. Well, what we wanted to look at uh, specifically was the, uh, the, the web RTC or the real-time communications, which is a, basically an API that is built into some of these modern browsers. Chrome was probably the first to, to adopt it. Um, and what it does is it enables developers to build real-time communications capabilities into their web pages. Uh, so you can start a peer-to-peer -peer communication with people who might be visiting that web page. Um, there's still a lot of development that needs to be built on top of that API in terms of the interface uh, and that, but some of the, the, the core workings that are required for that peer-to-peer -peer communications are available now in uh, browsers. And we wanted to know, well, how many, uh, what percent of the browsers uh, use this? And it's really a combination of the browser technology and, and some of the capabilities of the underlying operating system. And uh, the, in a nutshell, what it is is 80% of all traffic that we see today uh, will support WebRTC based upon the browser that, or the browser version that that person is using. Um, you know, if there's an older version, say, of Google Chrome out there, it will not support uh, WebRTC. But most of the traffic that we're seeing today on Google Chrome, in fact, 95% of it, is on a version that's modern enough that we uh, it, that it does support WebRTC. The real story here is Safari. Safari started to uh, support WebRTC uh, back in version 11.2 in September of 2017. And uh, because Apple <clears throat> has a pretty good track record of pushing out operating systems and application updates, or browser updates, I should say, uh, this number has gone from zero up to 75%. Uh, in two quarters, and we anticipate that you know it will inch higher toward uh, 100% over the next year. Um, and uh, yeah, it, the interesting thing is that when you're on Safari, actually, Jan Arne, do you do you want to uh, explain some of the the caveats down here about uh, the mobile Safari and the Facebook on iOS? Yeah, sure. You've uh, pretty much explained uh, all there is to explain on the on, uh, on this slide. Um, but uh, um, yeah, you're right uh, uh, about the uh, Safari browser. That it's actually uh, pretty impressive to provide 75% supportage on uh, on iOS, knowing that uh, support for WebRTC was introduced only at uh, uh, iOS 11. Uh, a few months uh, months back, um, and uh, yeah, Safari, and this is also true for for Google Chrome. Really, um, uh, we pulled pulled together uh, everything Safari related and Google Chrome related actually on uh, uh, on mobile devices. This means uh, also in app browsers or, or web view based uh, based browsers. 
So uh, it means that you can uh, you can use WebRTC both from directly from the browser and but also inside uh, web views such as you know in, inside the embedded browser in Facebook or, or Twitter or, or whatever you're uh, accessing a, a link from. And this is uh, that, that, that's a good thing because then you can uh, when you're developing a web application that, that needs WebRTC um, or, or uh, yeah, whether it's a VR or AR or a video chat or something type of application, you can feel somewhat safe that uh, this will work both in, um, in the web browser and also in the in-app uh, browsers. And this is stuff, of course, that Warfall will help you uh, detect. Right, right. And there's actually, yeah, this is the, the applications for WebRTC range from, as you said, uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, to gaming, uh, even in uh, industries such as healthcare, where someone might go to a website and, and uh, start to interact uh, and talk about health issues with a professional on the other end. Um, the, the, the opportunity for real-time communication, not just text-based, um, is, is becoming more of a reality and really kind of promises a, a very interesting user experience for people going forward. And I should say that's across device and not just uh, on a desktop, but uh, a lot of the mobile devices, uh, you know, these statistics apply there also.